Alright, back here, Luke here, and uh, recently I haven't really had too much reason to make uh, a lot of videos, uh, a lot of my stuff being in storage still, and uh, just having the bare minimum here to work with, but I decided to um, take out one of these controllers that I had in storage, and uh, it was one that I had found, if you remember, a few years ago. Uh, the cord was cut in the back, and it's a, a Dreamcast uh, fighting controller, but... Uh, I went and I wired up all the buttons here for the uh, the controller. I wired up the joystick, got it all wired up to this right here, and uh, I'm using that right now for my uh, arcade setup. But uh, I don't know. I just figured we could just make a video of uh, some gaming and rambling at the same time. That might be kind of interesting. I thought <laughs> this thing here, I had to kind of make a makeshift uh, uh, insert coin button because it didn't have it. It had the start button here, but. Uh, other than that, it, this thing was basically a shell with the uh, with the buttons and the uh, the joystick in it. But nonetheless, got it working. So, yeah. But uh, yeah. Anyway, without uh, further ado, I suppose we can just play some games and uh, just chat. <laughs> so let's uh, give this a shot here. I already got it started up. So uh, turn on the volume here. I'm just using the regular TV for right now. It doesn't produce the best of pictures, but eh, it does the job. Uh, I can't get this thing to completely line up, but I think that's just a, an issue with this um, converter here. I don't think it likes to uh, actually display the full size, but yeah. So this one's uh, Gekijo uh, Parodius. So. Let's uh, pop in some coins and play some of that. I think I put up a video of this once before, but... What the heck, might as well play it again, right? <laughs> Hopefully I'll have something come here in the mail uh, sometime soon that uh, I can show you guys. I don't know when it's gonna come here, but uh, when it does come, I'll let you guys know and make a video of it. Something pretty cool, kind of along these lines here, but probably gonna be a, about a week or so before it comes in. Kind of love these Parodius games, though. Recently, I've seen a lot of people putting up uh, different videos, different games, and like uh, new game systems that they've gotten that uh, never really heard of before, which is kind of cool. It's the summertime too, so I'm sure a lot of people are out going around, uh, hanging out outside, hanging at the beach, doing some parties and stuff. This video, by the way, has absolutely no purpose and just, <laughs> just figured I'd do some gaming and rambling. Uh... Right now the place, I've had a few questions, uh, people ask me like um, if this is my new place or not. No, this is not my new place. Um, just a temporary place until we can find a, a better one. Um, due to the fact that I have so much stuff, uh, there's no way that it would fit in this place at all. <laughs> so I really need to uh, find a big enough place to fit all of my game stuff and then have uh, enough stuff or enough space for everything else. But the houses here in Japan are pretty small. So. Trying to find one that can kind of meet the needs that uh, I have is pretty difficult. <laughs> one game that I hope to eventually get is uh, Sexy Parodius. That is uh, another really fun one. But yeah, I was, uh, was kind of checking out my, my storage locker and seeing what kind of junk I had in there and came across a few different parts like this controller and I thought, well, you know what, I'm 
kind of haven't played any arcade games here uh, really recently, so I thought I'd dig it out and wire it up here. It's a lot more durable than the controller that I wired up, so I figured that would be a, a better idea. So I just pulled it out and grabbed some wire that I had left over and decided to uh, wire it up. I forgot that I had this thing on just manual, or uh, not manual, auto, so it's auto upgrading everything. It's nice though when you're really, really busy and uh, you know you just decide to grab some games and sit down and start playing them. <laughs> I mean, I got so much stuff just laying around, never really get a chance to play all of it. And uh, today's kind of a, I don't know, I, I don't know if you call it stormy, but it's a little bit of a um, gloomy day outside. So this is a pretty good day to be inside and. Play some games and make some random videos about uh, absolutely nothing. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just like it's like half concentration on the game and then half concentration on speaking. But this video will be all over the place. Love the music in this game. Just dying left and right now. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, there was a lot of comments on that video that I put up about uh, the TVs being thrown out in Japan, and uh, a lot of people were asking about, you know, what about converters and stuff uh, like that. Um, yeah, although there may be uh, converters out there, I know that uh, in Japan, the idea is not to save the old stuff. It's basically to um, get the new stuff in and throw away the old stuff just because there's no space. And uh, Japan is always trying to do something new. Like, they're always trying to make new products, and they can't really sell those if people are just uh, buying the same old stuff or keeping the same old stuff for long periods of time. So, yeah, it's kind of sad, but um, it's part of the consumer society here. Yeah, definitely uh, thinking about getting some of the uh, parts that I find here and some of these TVs. I've noticed that a lot of them uh, that are just sitting outside, uh, there's a lot of stickers on them. Because normally you can't just throw TVs away in Japan. You have to pay for them to be taken away. And people who just throw them outside, they just sit there, and they will sit there until somebody decides to pay for it um, and put a sticker on it. So there's just a lot of them sitting outside right now. And it was funny because um, after I put up that video uh, and talking about how there was a hotline that people could call uh, if they had any trouble or if they had any problems with their TVs, um, they had the uh, news uh, broadcast on it, and there was something like... 30, 30 million like phone calls or something ridiculous like that, um, or 30,000, I can't remember, in a, in a very short time of people calling up saying, hey, my TV doesn't work, <laughs> you know, so, pretty wild. I think when it happened, though, a lot of people were, you know, away from home or at the office, so many people didn't realize it until they got home, and they were just wondering what was going on with their TVs, but sure enough. Lots of phone calls on that one.
Oh, that, uh, by the way, I wanted to mention that uh, it was really cool getting a chance to check out all those room uh, videos that everyone made. Very, very awesome. Surprised on how many people have such, you know, just amazing collections. But um, I think that's about enough of me dying, isn't it? Enough of rambling, but... Yeah, I just thought I'd pop up a kind of gaming-related video here slash Luke rambles about nothing slash, you know, try and answer some questions in other videos. Video. <laughs> yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.